Hi, I'm Charles and welcome to the Australian Electric Motor Co, Australia's only dedicated electric motorcycle showroom. Today we're going to be running you through how to charge the Energica Ego and a little bit more about this super powerful electric motorcycle. This is one of the most powerful electric motorcycles in the world and that's not me exaggerating, that's a fact. Energica created these bikes to compete in the Moto E, which is essentially the electric motorcycle version of the Moto GP. Now beyond your standard charging, the Energica has come with DC fast charging. So we're gonna run you through the different ways that you can charge the Energica, and then also the DC fast charging. Now the battery capacity of the Energica Ego depends on which model you have. Now there's the Ego, Ego Plus, and Ego Plus RS. The base model Ego comes with a battery capacity of around 13.4 kilowatt hours and the Ego Plus and Ego Plus RS around 21.5. From the base model to the superior models, that gives you around 180 to 250 kilometers of riding range depending on where you are. So the Energica Egos have a top speed of around 240 to 260 kilometers per hour, but for obvious reasons, the road models are limited to around 200 kilometers an hour. From these ones, you can charge level one, two, or three. We're gonna run you through all of them today. To access the charging port for the Energy Ego is quite easy. Just above the rear suspension here, you see a little keyhole. The same key used for the ignition brings that up and locks the seat up here so you can access the charging ports. Now I'm going to quickly run you through Type 1 charging using a Maneki's cord. Now you can plug these into any 10 amp power socket and that's the usual power socket you'd find at home, at work, just the usual three prong ones. Now just to confuse you, this is a Type 2 charging cord that uses Type 1 power supply. Again, for an explanation on this, check out our charging videos explained below. To activate the charging, you simply take off the rubber cap Plug in the Maneki's cord, done. So using a Type 1 charging, it'll take you around about 10 hours to, give, to get a decent charge out of it because it is the lowest power supply you can charge your bike with. For Type 2 charging, you'll get about three kilowatts of power supply into your battery as you're charging, which will cut your charge time down to around about seven hours. Now plugging this into an AC fast charger can give you about 22 kilowatts of power to charge, however, the onboard charger in the Energica Ego will limit at about three kilowatts. So as you can see, the bike's battery is at around 80% at the moment, and it will take about 40 to 45 minutes to charge up to that 100%. Now, one thing you need to know about these bikes is that the, from zero to 80, it will charge quite fast, but the last 20% will charge a bit slower, and that's just to protect the battery. I'm gonna quickly run you through the DC fast charging. We don't have a DC fast charger here, but you'll usually find these power outlets out in public. Now DC fast charging will take you from zero to 80% in around about 40 minutes, and that's quick. Now the DC fast charging uses these type two cords with the additional CCS ports down the bottom there. Once you've finished charging the Ego, there's a little clip here, pull that back, and that allows you to put the seat back down. To unhook the charger once it's locked in for charging, you simply press the mode button on the left hand of the handlebars and that'll allow you to disconnect the charger. This model comes with the upgraded Olin suspension and the aluminium OZ rims. Now that's it for charging your Energica Ego. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below and like, follow and subscribe for more awesome electric motorcycle content.